Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video where I share a week of dinners for a family of nine. So I show you what we had for dinner from Monday to Friday and I do hope you find it useful and enjoyable. So on Monday we had a chicken and spinach curry. Juza sag is what we'd call it, I think. <laughs> so to a pan, I've added some oil and some cumin seeds, coriander seeds, some chopped onions and just cook them till they're nice and soft. And then I sliced some tomatoes. I would have actually added more tomatoes, but we'd run out. So I just added two tomatoes and some passata. So when the onions are nice and soft, add the garlic and ginger paste, the salt and spices, and just stir that all together. And then add the tomatoes and cook them till they're soft. So once the tomatoes are cooked, add in the passata. And the chicken pieces. So I had a baby chicken that was already cut in pieces. And then cook that on a medium flame until it's kind of white. And then add your spinach. So it looks like there's loads of spinach, but you should know by now that spinach reduces in size dramatically. <laughs> so I just added some water and then once you bring that to the boil, turn it down, simmer for about 25-30 minutes and it's nice and ready. We had that with some rice, which is our staple side dish in this house. Then I served it after that, which is what you usually do after making dinner. You serve it up, otherwise it's just going to sit in the pan. And that's not very useful, is it, guys? <laughs> With my meal, I added some veg instead of lots of rice. So we're on to Tuesday and I made some uh, chicken wings, fried chicken wings. So I've got some buttermilk, some spices and salt. And just mix that all together. And then I added the chicken wings which have got their skin on and coated them fully in the buttermilk mixture. And then uh, I covered that with cling film and put it in the fridge for a few hours, about three, four hours. So I actually prepared this earlier on in the afternoon so that it was ready for like after school, four, five-ish. So um, I thought it might take a little bit of time to get dinner ready uh, and the kids seemed quite hungry. So I made some, um, these little taco uh, wrap things really quickly just to keep their bellies a little bit satisfied. Uh, while they waited for dinner so I've literally put some cheese and this taco bean mixture in these mini tortilla wraps and then put them on the pan I just grilled each side and they enjoyed that while they waited for dinner so to finish off making the chicken rings, the fried chicken rings, I prepared the dry coating. So I've got some plain flour and uh, salt and spices. I put some waffle fries in the oven to have as a side with the chicken rings. So I coated um, the chicken wings 
in the dry mixture one by one and then fried each side so don't put the flame too too high because you want it to cook nicely inside you don't want it to be pink and bloody do you or do you <laughs> So for myself, I had um, some mash, mashed potato instead of the waffle fries. But it was a yummy dinner, mashallah. The buttermilk and the spices just add that extra deliciousness. So then we got on to Wednesday and I tend to make a bilau of some sort on a Wednesday. Usually I make a chicken one, but because we'd had quite a bit of chicken already, I made a lamb one. So lamb and potato bilau. So first of all, I sliced some onions. And then to a large pan, I added some sunflower oil, the sliced onions and just mixed that all together and cooked until a lovely light brown, I'd say. While the onions were cooking, I sliced some tomatoes and then added them into the pan and cooked them till they were nice and soft as well. Added a dash of water because it was starting to stick to the pan a little. And then added some garlic and ginger paste. And there's the numerous salt and spices which give it that delightful flavour, mashallah. Next, I added the lamb and stirred that in, cooked for a couple of minutes. And then added in the potatoes, as well as some low-fat Greek yoghurt. Just mix that all together, my loves. Finally, add some water, mix it all together. Make sure it's mixed beautifully, okay? Add a finger chili and then uh, turn it up to a high heat, bring it to the boil and then cook it for about 45 minutes. So I actually uh, prepared that before the school run. And I added the rice and everything when I came back from picking the kids up from school. So I just uh, drained the soaked rice Added it to the pan, added some extra water, stirred it carefully, but lovingly, mind you. <laughs> and then uh, bring it to the boil, turn it down, cook for 10 minutes on a low heat. And it was beautiful and ready, mashallah. I cut some salad with it and I usually do have some yogurt with it as well. I might add some mint sauce to it or some chilli sauce to the yogurt. You can't have bilal rice without a bit of yogurt and salad. You can, but like you really can't. And there was dinner for Wednesday night. We're doing great so far, aren't we guys? Mashallah. Thursday, what did I make? I can't even remember. I made a lasagna. How can I forget? Oh my God, I just edited this. I had some lamb mince and I was kind of in the mood for a bit of lasagna. So I cooked the mince in a pan until it was brown and it had released most of its liquids. And then added um, some frozen mixed veg. The one I used was a country mixed veg. Added in the onions, cooked till soft. Add the salt, coarse black pepper, oregano. And some passata, a whole tub of it, 500 grams, loves, don't be shy. Mm -hmm. 
and then just bring that to the boil put it aside and then i made the white sauce for the lasagna really easy added the butter uh, the plain flour mixed it together till it's a paste add some milk bring it to the boil whisking to make sure we don't get any lumps you should get a nice smooth sauce i added a bit of salt and uh, finished off with some grated cheddar and then it was just a matter of layering the lasagna and this is how i layer mine how do you layer yours go and let me know why not Mashallah, that looks really delicious, really cheesy. The lasagna was really, really delicious, Mashallah. I should make it again really soon. <laughs> Friday is our takeaway day. I got a cheeseburger and chips, which was really delicious, Mashallah. And that was our week of uh, dinners for a family of nine. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful. Take care. Salam. Bye.